Welcome back to Mass Innovative Learning. I am Mass. In today's video, we are going to learn about what is Carnot vapor cycle, sequence of operations performed in the Carnot vapor cycle with the help of flow diagram, PV and TS diagrams, limitations of Carnot vapor cycle. Also, we discuss why it is considered as theoretical or an ideal cycle instead of practical cycle. This is the fifth topic from the unit steam power plant. So if you are new to this channel, please go to the description, you will find a link to a playlist and the other videos I have uploaded. Coming to the topic, first of all, what is Carnot vapor cycle? It is the most efficient cycle operating between two specified temperature levels, that is source temperature and sink temperature. It is adopted as an ideal cycle. In spite of its high thermal efficiency, it is not considered as a practical cycle. Steam is the working fluid in Carnot vapor cycle. It consists of two reversible isothermal processes and two reversible adiabatic processes. The processes involved in this cycle must be reversible. Let me introduce you the components. We have boiler, turbine, condenser, compressor. Consider four points in the diagram. The saturated water enters the boiler where heat is supplied and evaporation takes place at constant pressure and temperature to form saturated steam. The saturated steam generated in the boiler enters the steam turbine with high pressure and temperature and rotates the blades of the turbine. The turbine is coupled with an auxiliary equipment such as generator. Here, work produced in the turbine is transformed into electrical energy or some other form of energy by an auxiliary equipment. The steam which is exhausted from the turbine enters the condenser where the steam is partially condensed while the heat is being rejected to the cool water which is circulated through the condenser. Finally, the steam is isentropically compressed in the compressor to complete the cycle. Here pressure of steam rises. Let's move to the sequence of operations in Carnot vapor cycle. 1 to 2 represents reversible adiabatic expansion process or isentropic expansion process. 2 to 3 represents reversible isothermal heat rejection process. 3 to 4 represents reversible adiabatic compression process or isentropic compression process. 4 to 1 represents reversible isothermal heat addition process. Let's understand PV and TS diagrams. In isothermal heat addition process, heat is supplied to the system. Steam is formed in the boiler at constant pressure and temperature. As I have said, pressure is constant so that the line is drawn perpendicular to the pressure axis. Or we can say P4 is equals to P1. But volume rises from V4 to V1. Because when water is converted to steam, the volume rises. We know that volume of steam is more than volume of water. Moving on to the TS diagram, temperature remains constant so that the line is drawn perpendicular to the temperature axis and entropy rises from S4 to S1. In adiabatic expansion process that is 1 to 2, steam expands through the blades of the turbine. The work is obtained from the system that is turbine work. Here pressure falls from P1 to P2 and volume changes from V1 to V2. Moving on to the TS diagram here temperature falls from T1 to T2 but entropy remains constant as I have said it is an isentropic process means constant entropy process so S1 is equals to S2. In isothermal heat rejection process, that is 2 to 3, exhausted steam loses its latent heat to the circulating water which is circulated through the condenser. Or we can say heat is rejected to the surroundings. In PV diagram, pressure remains constant, P2 is equals to P3, where volume decreases from V2 to V3. Moving on to the TS diagram, temperature remains constant, that is T2 is equals to T3, where entropy falls from S2 to S3. In adiabatic compression process that is 2 to 3, 
steam is isentropically compressed in the compressor. Instead of supplying compressor work or the work required by the compressor from an additional source, it is taken from the turbine work or work produced by the turbine. In PV diagram, pressure rises from P3 to P4, where volume changes from V3 to V4. And in TS diagram, temperature rises from T3 to T4, where entropy remains constant, that is, S3 is equal to S4, because it is an isentropic process. Limitations of Carnot vapor cycle In spite of its high thermal efficiency, it is not practiced because of the following difficulties. First one, isothermal heat addition process at constant pressure that is 4 to 1 may be readily achieved in practice, but extension of this process into a superheated region requires a reduction in pressure simultaneously, which is most difficult to control in practice. Second one, in order to supply saturated water to the boiler, the condensing process 2 to 3 must be terminated at state 3 where the working fluid is a mixture of liquid and vapor. It is impossible in practice to terminate or stop the condensation process exactly at state 3. Third one. Further, it is not possible to design a compressor that will handle two-phase mixture effectively. So that's all for today. Keep learning and keep writing in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.